Hey folks, Coach Josh Wood here again. Now we're gonna look at the bench press. Now the bench press is the quintessential upper body movement. You lay back on a bench, you push a barbell overhead, bring it right back down to the chest, and repeat as much as necessary. Great movement for total upper body strength, great for teaching stability in the upper back, great way to safely develop the large muscle groups of the upper body, your pecs, triceps, anterior deltoids, and everything else you see on the screen there. So it's a great movement for strength, it's a great movement for uh, sports, it's a great movement for bodybuilding. So let's dig into it a little bit and take some, some time to master it. The bench press is a very technical lift. To get it right, you need to master the setup. You wanna have those heels planted to the ground, glutes tight and on the bench, and shoulder blades flat on the bench, pinched back together. We're gonna to grip outside shoulder width. The width will depend on your anatomy and your preferences here. Keeping the head pinned, we're gonna lower the bar to our lower chest and press it back up towards our chin. We commonly call this a C curve. It is not a straight up and down motion because that's not how the shoulders prefer to work. So we wanna make sure we master that C curve and we call that movement also nips to lips. It's from low to high. Once we have established our five points of contact, the feet on the ground, the glutes on the bench, the shoulder blades down and back on the bench and head on the bench, we need to master our hand position. So the forearm should be directly under the bar. It's a vertical bone up to the bar with our hands locking it into place. The elbows will slide down along the sides of the body and we press up without thrusting our chest into the air. So the chest doesn't come up to meet the bar. Often in powerlifting videos, you will see that the chest is pulled up to the bar and there's a large arch in the back. For general purposes, we want to avoid that. We pull the bar out of the rack and keep the arms straight. The bar is then moved towards the hip with straight arms until we feel the lats activate. From there, it is a smooth and controlled descent to the bottom of the chest and a powerful press through the arms to the locked out elbow position. We want to avoid common mistakes such as raising the heels, bringing the glutes off the bench, bringing the chest up, losing contact with the upper back and head. We want to make sure that our upper back is rock solid. This is the platform, this is the anvil that allows us to create force off of it. So those shoulder blades need to be tucked back and down and not move through the motion. We don't push the shoulders up as the bar goes up, we push the arms up, keeping the shoulders down and in place. Remember to move through full range of motion. Bring the bar all the way down to the chest and press to full extension of the elbows.